This man is crying because he witnessed China's forced organ harvesting firsthand, an ongoing crime against humanity. Today, we'll dive into how the CCP uses prisoners of conscience and ethnic minorities as a source of organ supply. Welcome to China Insider, I'm David Zhang. To get a kidney transplant in the United States, it could take up to three to five years. But in China, in just two weeks, you could get a surgery done. How is that possible? Because of the nature of this topic, we don't want to draw YouTube's community violation strike. So we'll be putting the full video on Gunjin World, and you can click the link in the description or the comment, or in this card here to watch it. This man is Zheng Zhi, a former surgeon who did his practicum at a top military hospital in northeastern China. And he witnessed firsthand the case of a young soldier having his organs removed while he was still alive. And this was back in 1994. And since that experience, he has decided to survive until he can get out of China. And after he moved to Canada, he began searching for a news organization to reveal what he witnessed. In 2015, he gave an anonymous tip to the Epoch Times Chinese edition. And then this year, he went public to tell further about his own story. For more detail, I'll leave that in the second half of the video. Now, a growing body of evidence has indicated that China's hospitals are working with the police in a nefarious scheme known as organ harvesting. And their main source of organ supply comes from prisoners of conscience. And against the will of the victims, their organs are harvested and their bodies are cremated. The vast majority of the prisoners of conscience targeted in this manner are believed to be Falun Gong practitioners, possibly running into the tens of thousands annually. And according to an estimate by Ethan Gutman, an investigative journalist, David Mattis, an international human rights lawyer, and the late David Kelgore, a former Canadian member of parliament, they published their findings in the 2016 Bloody Harvest. We'll be basing a lot of the evidence findings from this paper. In the recent years, the Uyghur population in particular has also been subjected to forced organ harvesting while they're being kept in the concentration camps in Xinjiang. And prior to 2013, China didn't officially have an organ donation system. Yet, since 1999, its yearly organ transplants reached 10 to 20,000, according to official reports, each year. To give you a scale for comparison, if the US with more than 145 million people registered as organ donors, at least in 2017, they were able to perform 35,000 transplants, how could China in the same time, 2017, with only 260,000 registered organ donors, perform 17,000 transplants? China, that means at the time had only 0.18% of America's organ donors, yet it performed half of what the United States was able to do in the same year. How is this all being done? Check out the full video.